Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 25th of October 2023. It's evening time here in Bangkok. Uh, what's going on in the world? A couple of things I noticed. Uh, first up, um, because of the cost of living, which is a global thing, uh, a global problem, uh, really costs have been spiraling across the world. I mean, we here in Thailand have definitely seen uh, inflation and uh, increased costs in, in so many ways. It's definitely affected the population. But in Africa, it has meant that fewer girls are being enrolled in school. This is obviously a, a bad scenario. We want uh, all girls to have equal opportunity for education. And so uh, let's not um, let up on the fight uh, on that front, uh, we need all girls to be to have equal opportunities in education and for long periods of time too, not taken out early and be married off or anything like that. Uh, some good news, um, as by way of contrast, is that uh, a young man in India has come up with uh, a spoon that can uh, compensate for people's shaking. In particular, he developed it because uh, I think it was his grandfather had parkinson's well my dad had parkinson's for many years and i know how terrible that that disease is and if you've ever known anybody with parkinson's tremor or other diseases with a similar tremor you'll know how difficult it is but he's come up this uh, young man has come up with a spoon i don't know how successful it will be but i'm glad to see that people are trying trying to be inventive and let's wish him the best of luck with it okay this is the los angeles times <coughs> excuse me Sudoku puzzle. I can see nine blocking across here and across here and up here and down there. Uphill and down Dale, I was about to say. <coughs> so I know that the nine is going to appear there. And that's how I'm going to begin this evening's game. I also saw sixes blocking down like this while I was chatting to you. Those were the two things that I spotted. And now I've got to start looking again because I haven't seen anything else. Ah, but now we can definitely see there's a six up there and down there. So we'll get a six there. Now our two blocking across here, we'll put two into one of these two squares. So this can't be two, can it, down here? Um, now we've got two blocking those squares. Right, so this is going to be our two up here. In fact, you could just see the two blocking down here will give us give me a two here anyway. <coughs> we could have got to it in the same fashion. Uh, what's missing from this column? We are looking for five, seven, and eight, I think. Um, that's going to put fives down here. Ah, and eights down here this is five and eight here and we've got five and eight blocking up here so five and eight are here seven blocking across here gives me the seven there this would be a three three is blocking up to the top and across here will give me a three in that square uh, now I can definitely get this can't I uh, it's a one I can see it immediately one's blocking up there there we go now I've got one and three here, one and three here, so that's going to give me a one and three over there. Now what does it mean? Five blocking across here, five in one of those squares, and five up here, so that will be our five. Something coming in. And what did I say? One and three.
okay we have nine blocking up there and nine across there there's a nine and the last number for this uh, column is a four <clears throat> Uh, I believe the missing numbers here are 4, 7, and 9. Is that? Uh, yeah, I think that's right. So we got the 7 and the 9 in this column there. That's going to be our 4 then. That row, sorry, I should have said. Okay, we've got four blocking up here, four across here like this. So there's our four. Now, I said this was one and three. So this is going to be seven and eight. And then this will be the other number, the other number being a two. Right, let's have a little walk around then. four up there four down there four across there there's a four four across here and across here here's a four uh, we're left with one and five in those squares there
Uh, one quick wander around and then I will move to candidates. Okay, I think that's enough. I will move to candidates now. Okay, so this this was one and three over here, and this was seven and eight over here. Now I've got quite a lot of other things to be done as well. This was one and five, and this down here was also seven. No, seven and nine. Seven nine. And up here we're looking for five and eight. Um, let's go through. There are still more things to be done. We've got ones somewhere across there. Um, Pair of threes there. Fours are in these squares only. I forgot to fill in this, didn't I? Which is seven and eight. Okay, I think that's the pair stuff done so um, I should go ahead and finish off the candidates to see what's going on so one two three four five six seven the only thing we're looking for up here is an eight uh, eight blocks up here and so eights are in those squares um, yeah don't can't get anything there right let's move down let's try the right hand side uh, we've got one and five in those squares there what do we know about the twos two blocks down here so we have twos in those squares what do we know about the threes three blocks down here so threes are possible there what do we know about the eights hello eight um eight anywhere there eight so nothing really. Eights are there. And back down at the bottom, ones across like this. Um, twos blocking across here. Seven across there. there okay do I need to put my glasses on no 
because 7, 8, 3, 8 and 3, 7, 8, there we go. Three numbers in three squares, it means that this 3 and this 7 can be removed. And now we have 1, 5, <laughs> there we go, 1, 5, uh, unit, unit, blah, 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 unique rectangle, can hardly say it. And of course that means that this is going to be a 7 because of our rule of unique rectangles, which will give me 7 here and 9 there. Uh, I'll put the 9s in quickly and then I'll get rid of these 7s that we can't use. Right. So let's keep moving along the bottom then. Uh, ones can still go there. Um, twos blocking across and down. Give me twos in those squares and the threes across here. I mean, I can, oh, there's a three here to be had first of all before we go any further. So that means threes are somewhere up there. And it also means I've got to remove this candidate 3 here. Oh, I've got a pair of 2 and 8 here. So let's <laughs> finish this off here. 1 here, 5 here. should pay attention to this, shouldn't I, really? 1 here, 5 there, of course. Right, now I can come back and do what I was doing. I've got no idea where I got to. I think I was looking at the eights. Eight blocks down here and eight blocks across here. So eights are in those squares. Have I got everything? One, two, three, four. No, I haven't got five. Yes, I have six, seven, eight, nine. I have, so that's going to be a single nine then. And that puts a nine into this square up here. And it means that we can remove our candidate nines from those squares there. Now I think I actually did the top row, the top shoot here, didn't I? So I can say for sure that has to be a four then. This will be a four down here. Let's remove candidate four. Let's place an eight in this square, seven there, eight there. This is a six then, five, and there's our seven. Okay, well there's a nice one three pair there. So it means that this and this one can be removed. Uh, this is the only block to be done yet, to be finished. Let's have a quick look down here though, just in case two, eight, two. There's a one here that has to be removed as well. Two, six, eight, two, six, eight, one, three, okay. Right, looking good. I think this block to go, we've got two blocking down here, so two can go in those squares there. We don't know anything about the threes, do we? Oh, I see this eight. I've got to remove an eight there, excuse me. Threes can still go anywhere. five blocks like this so we have a pair of fives there six blocks down here so this is going to be a two <laughs> I really spent some time looking at this stuff before going forward over here six up here and six down there so that's a pair of sixes there uh, can't put threes in these squares can I because we've got a pair of one and three there so that's a pair of two and five that's a bit better right I think we are now all done on the candidates so let's just find out what we need to do let's get rid of this 
8 here. Well, let's put the 7 here first. And then the 2 back there. Let's get rid of those 2s. And that will give me a 2 in this square, 5 in that square. 5 there, 8 there. Cross with the 8s to get rid of. 6, 8. Another 8 there. Here's a 3. There's a 7. It's a 3. 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. Six, all done. That's our uh, expert level game from the Los Angeles Times over and out. Bye-bye.